We are approaching 5 a.m. in North Prairie, Wisconsin. About ready to head out for the solar eclipse in Indianapolis area. Don't know if this is even going to be workable or what. We'll find out. But uh, up early, going to try to get through Chicago. Take our chances, see what happens, hopefully. Okay, this is five hours from when we left. Didn't really stop much, stopped for gas. A little bit of slowdowns for traffic, but otherwise made it through Chicago with no issues. Nothing slowed down even when we got here. This is Indy, this is North of Indy. So this is, we're already in the path of totality. So that's done. And we're here like, we got here with like two minutes to spare and the open sign comes on. So we get to go eat, get that over with, and have time to kill to find the perfect place and catch this eclipse should be freaking awesome me too me too can't believe it though like i couldn't have imagined this would be the way it worked we'd get here exactly on freaking time what crazy dip meadow mushroom this is the bonus spot perfectly this is us there's the exit free parking free park perfect view out this way so there's the sun now it's gonna be over here somewhere Get our chairs got neighbors from Wisconsin it's all good we done well right yeah super spongy we're in a park. Look at this park. This park is awesome. We have parks like this, little seating areas and path for cute girls to walk on. I was getting behind the camera. <laughs> okay. Cute girls to walk on. small little hiking trail just enough to say you did it All the old trees that fell down to give it that somewhat foresty look but right next to civilization I swear that drive did not feel as long as what it actually was I agree did not The random cement spots. Hmm. Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> They've been looking all the wrong places. And check this out. Who gets this in their park? Climb up. Pick your slide. Yeah, they definitely put some money into this park. Yep. At least 50 bucks, you can tell.
want one of these at our park. I know. Like one of uh, all of these. Yes, all these. We all should relocate this. them. Like it looks like you could practically kind of sprawl. Right now, let's talk temperature. Gorgeous. Oh, freaking amazing. Gorgeous. It's Neither like hot nor cold. Yeah, it's like 70, almost dead on, I think. If not slightly more. Enough that we're in the sun and we're not even sweating. I mean, this is like the ideal temperature. A little bit of clouds up in the sky, you can see, but not much. And it's just turned out perfect so far. Yeah, what a great park. And yeah, amazing park. Perfect location. We just randomly chose a green spot on the map and drove to it. Perfect. I can't imagine anything better. Alright, so this is sort of our before. View light. It's up here. Boom. Quick view. Uh -huh. And the moon is already somewhat starting to invade the sun. Glasses, so that's cool. And maybe I should see if I can make that work here. Under. Where would that be? Oh, it does work. Kind of. Really? Yeah. Well, Christ, let's see, through the glasses. You can't see the chip through it, though. At this point. Not really, but it's something. Under an hour to go. Here in the rains down in Africa. Nope, just looks round. So wow, weird. Wow, what the heck? Alright, just does not. We're about 15 minutes to go. I would show you, but you can't really see anything in the camera. But it's just the littlest crescent of the sun. You can start seeing, like, just, I don't know if the phone can show it, but things just are looking a little weird, in, at least in my view. Different, te different colors, and boy, the temperature, you can feel it starting to drop just a little. Pretty cool. minutes to totality. Look up real quick, can't see much, it just looks like a normal sun. But when you look with the glasses, it's just a little sliver of the sun. I'm watching the sliver. It's getting slivery, more slivery and more slivery all the time. Yes. You know, so I do this. Well, I mean, maybe they're watching it from Madison. They're married just something in the vagina. When I look up and check, oh yeah. Just the slightest. That's awesome. It's really cool. <laughs>
Oh my god. Still just brown on this. Oh my god. Alright, we're in totality. It's freaking amazing. Look at this. Dark. It's dark. I wish the camera would do it justice. It justice. It really doesn't. What a shame. I know. This is something. Can zoom in, this but still. Like Look at that. Look at that. Zoomed in. Wow. I want my regular glasses so I can see stars. I can see stars. Doesn't do it justice to how dark it is. Oh, I can see. A, I can see a flare at the bottom. <laughs> Yeah. There's a there's a flare at the bottom. Yeah. What is that? Probably a solar flare of some sort. Oh my god. It's so dark. <laughs> yeah, how come I can see? But I see how they, they mean the difference between the ring of fire and this. Oh, yeah. Because the ring of fire, the moon is further away. Oh, right, right. And so right. you actually get like a sliver around the whole out, like the orange, not like sure. what we saw, which was like a bluish, grayish. Because it took more out. Whitish. Big moon. Blackish. Fuck, that was fucking cool. God damn it. Fuck, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, that was amazing. Me? No, we got to get some of the commentary. Oh, no, it was totally. I, I just don't even know how. Incredible. You can't put in words. I don't know how to even describe it. It was. Anybody who missed that. Out of this world. Fucked up. Serious. I mean, it was. Fucking insane. Incredible. Oh, it was so, awe inspiring. So worth it. It was. I've never seen anything like it.